I didn't know Chinese was that much popular, to be fair. Just a question, your regular customers, they come once a week? Yes, yes. My regular customers come once every two days. Mm. Can five strangers... <laughs> that is the size of my head. ...put their egos to the side... Don't do that, don't do that. ...and rank themselves from fifth to first place based on a variety of questions. Oh, that's actually tough. ...for their chance to win a cash prize. <laughs> Today, we're ranking chefs. Hi, I'm Chef Jimmy Lee, and I own the Lychee Oriental in Glasgow. The British just love Chinese food. Lemon chicken, sweet and sour chicken, salt and pepper chips. What is there not to love about Chinese food? Hello, Jimmy. Hey, hi, you right? Hello, it's Ozzy from Cambridge. I own a gourmet kebab kitchen. I think the British public loves kebab, so it's definitely for me number one. Good luck. Hi. Hi. I am Swati. I think uh, British people like Indian food more than Indian people like Indian food. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paola and I'm an Italian cook. Italian food is homely, it's romantic and it's full of fresh ingredients. Hiya. Hello. Hi. Sunny hey, nice A lot of people say if you cut me open, fish and chips would probably fall out of me. You We've got this. all my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> British favourite. <laughs> For each correct ranking your team makes, £100 will be added to the prize pot. Oh, oh, lovely. lovely. Interesting. <laughs> Question one. Which cuisine is the biggest no-go on a first date, according to a recently conducted poll. Oh, right, OK. I, I, I know oh, cool. bolognese is always number one. What, a no-go? Because they always bolognese. say bolognese because it's the messiest. No! It's the so they reckon that spaghetti is not romantic. Four words for you. Lazy and the tramp. Pizza. Italian food isn't just spaghetti bolognese because you've got all different sorts yeah. of food. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. Or pizza. It's romantic. But you also get, it's romantic. You think I about the way... Say, when I go on dates, I love Indian food, but I stay well away from it because it could just get a little bit embarrassing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like your breath or... It's quite, it's quite yes. spicy. <laughs> if you order a bit spicy over curry, oh, yeah, I'm normally medium and it comes out a bit hot. Like. I think... I think people go to the Indian cuisine because it's got it's vegan, vegetarian, gluten free got because of options. of options. I mean, I would go on all these dates to be honest. I think I think kebab. I wouldn't go for it. When you say kebab, it's not just a kebab, the one on a the stick. There's so, lots of things. Okay, kebab. Yeah. now you got nusret, you got lots of big restaurants, yeah. nice steakhouse, the Turkish, nice, of course, lots of Turkish wine, restaurant. cocktails and stuff like that. So I would say the fish and chips. Just first. <laughs> you, you don't want to go into fish and chips on your first date, do you? Sharing a battered sausage and that, you know? <laughs> Who wants to stick a battered sausage in their mouth on the first date? That's just crazy. I wouldn't do fish and chips on a first date with the likes of Italian and curry and things like that. Fish and chips, no. You don't have no much fish and chips restaurant? No, not much, no. I, I would personally think it's lower. Now, if you're not a go-to, then you'll be up there then. One? There. One or two? Yeah, number one. I'm a single girl, so I'm just trying to think. I feel like a lot of people, when I hear about them going on first dates, they generally do like to go to an Italian, in terms of, like, across the whole of Britain. I think in London, we've got lots of different restaurants, but I think across the UK, I do think I will probably be number five. I think Jimmy's number two. No chance. No, I, no I think, chance. I think, Absolutely no chance. I think, I think, a, a romantic... How can you say... I think Jimmy's down here with me. I'm going up here because, guys, we're running out of time. People don't want to go on ch Chinese food for a date. Already got arrival. Indian, I would keep it lower, but because I feel like... Because of the like spice, Indian. I think. Jimmy... I would say I was number... number Swati and then Aussie and then that's, Sunny. That's, that's what, what I'm say. saying. I'm saying I Italian, say Chinese, well. Indian, kebab, I think Indian is... More. You think your cuisine is more romantic than my you cuisine? On a first we don't have time. On a first day. I actually think Ozzy and Sonny should swap. They don't like money. They don't want to make money. <laughs> right, I'm going to go up my spot now. You, you, you need to. Okay, fine. I, I would swap you two at the end. Romantic place. I take you. I take you to London in a romantic place. Okay, oh, guys. Okay. What do you reckon? Uh, I'm confident in this position. Let's just go for it. For me, Italian is the second one because. It's very common. Everyone Ooh, goes. I don't like that word common. <laughs> I personally feel that, but common means what are going to fall out. <laughs> I've got two people already. <laughs> not so much happy about me. <laughs> okay, well, let's find out, shall we? Was fifth place correct or incorrect? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All the rest is wrong. <laughs> Hopefully not. Was fourth place correct or incorrect? Oh. I, yeah. 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 Of course it's going to be Chinese, it's going to be above Indian. Of course it is. What was she thinking? Was third place correct or incorrect? Uh, Come on, clean space. Oh. Oh. That's why we should have stopped oh, no. there. <laughs> was second place correct or incorrect? Got to be. Oh. 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 
was first place correct or incorrect? It might just be you two. Yes. 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 Okay. So it should have gone like this. Italian, Chinese, Turkish, Indian, fish and chips. We were pretty much right there, weren't we? Yeah. Rank your cuisines. British, Italian, Indian, Turkish, and Chinese by the number of Michelin restaurants they have in Greater London. Is it British or fish and chips? It's British. British. Oh, OK. Maybe we're higher than what I thought then. I was thinking fish and chips. How about the Chinese one? How many? Did you I wish the question was about Hong in the world, because I know yeah. there's most Michelin star restaurants in Hong Kong at 65. That's the thing, it's, it's Greater London. Exactly. I think it's going to be British, Indian, Indian. Italian. Well, how many can you think of? In yeah. London, I can London. think of Dumb. at least Three to four. So Indian people was there a long time ago. And I think it's also called the curry country, right? In, in yeah. yeah, exactly. People... In every okay, British yeah, pub, you got yeah. curry. I just automatically think of Gordon Ramsay having all the Michelin stars and he's yeah. got the Savoy, that's just been awarded. Yeah, I think it's um, going to be Britain. Been awarded Michelin stars. And then it's going to be between yes. you and me. So I go up to number yeah, one. I think you're stars. definitely one. And I think I would be two. I don't know. How many Italian Michelin stars do you know? I know at least two or three. I'm thinking I'm down there. I think I really do. No, I think, think you should be there. You think I should be here? It's up to you, but I stay there anyway. I'm just trying to think of all the big Italian restaurants that I know. A lot of Italians immigrated in the late 50s, 60s. So we're talking about nearly 80 years worth of cuisine. I think I'm convinced with this, to be honest. I think this looks quite good. Yeah. Something's telling me I'm too, but I don't... Maybe listen, go with your gut. Are you guys happy with this? I'm 50-50. I'm What's your 50-50? I think I may be a little bit higher. I think oh, I'm, I'm OK with this. I think we've got... I think we've got a few right. <laughs> no. I don't know. I feel a bit funny about this one. My stomach's going a bit funny. My gut was telling me to go with it, but I just could not do it. I feel like I should be believing more in my Italian fam. I feel like there's a few more. Was fifth place Turkish food correct or incorrect? Yay! Yay! <laughs> was fourth place Chinese food correct or incorrect? Mm. Yeah! Yay! That's a good one. Was third place Italian correct or incorrect? All on this one now. Oh, oh no. No. Oh. I, should have said, I should have gone with my gut. Oh. Original gut, OK. Second place Indian food correct or incorrect? Oh. Then up here, three out of five. Correct or incorrect British food? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. Oh, well done, guys. Oh. Well done. 300 again. My gut said that first, and then hearing everyone else's conversations made me start to doubt myself mm, yeah. a little bit. I need to go with my gut. My gut never, ever fails me. <laughs> Turkish, two. Chinese, 13. Indian, 29. Italian, 31. Yeah, so just... Ooh, we were, we were close. Told, we were very we were close. close. And British out there with 77. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, I definitely thought it was Indian. Somebody got stats wrong there. <laughs> According to Lad Nation, which of your cuisines do the public think is the best when you're feeling a little worse for wear? A little worse for wear? The next day after I've had a skimful, I fancy a Chinese. Do you? Yeah. yeah. That's my go-to the next day. What would you eat? Chow mein, sweet and sour chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kung it tells the gut. Kung po. You're talking my language, all, 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 all of that. All, all, all <laughs> the sorry. grease, all the, all the sweet and sticky sauce. You've won me over. <laughs> that was a hell of an order that he just made up and it cost him like 300 quid, but who cares? I'm going up to Glasgow to see Jimmy and he's going to cook me a nice rendition of it, he said. I think, Jimmy, you're definitely up there, but I get... I also do think, let's just not totally eliminate pizza. I, I think I you're two or three. I, no, I don't think I'm that high. Did you forget me? <laughs> no, no, no. If it was on a night out... I want a kebab when I, when I drop out of the club. No, well, that's, that's what I'm not saying. Not first if, thing in the if, morning. No, if you're, on a, if you're, on a, <laughs> you're after the club. <laughs> if it's a Friday night, Saturday night... You're what, you're what I eat as soon as I'm, like, just before I go home. Yeah. Three, four, not the next three or four day. in the morning. Not the next yeah. day. Love it, though, but that's what I'm craving. I think Sony is probably uh, one of the first because it's easy. You've got fish and chips <laughs> everywhere. You wake up, you walk in with your pyjamas, have a chips, <laughs> sausage, go home, sit on the think sofa, it's eat, Chinese. and sleep again. I really see people with pyjama walk into the fish and chips, have the fish and chips at the sofa, and sleep again. I think one, two, three, yeah. four, five. I'm not too You're sure. Not sure. When drinking, if, if it's a Friday night, night, definitely it's a curry. I know that. But then when you're hungover, maybe maybe you want to just calm yourself spice, down. Huh? I, I, I think know. pizza too, spice. to be People honest. After hangover, yeah. they want something plain. No, you're right. No, you're but right. be quick because there's yeah. one minute. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think two, two, 
I think two, I think probably three. I think you're before me, whatever we do. Let's do it fast! I think, like, you need to be higher up. Do you think me too? Mm. Yeah. But then pizza? I don't know. I think I kebab think, I think is kebab three. Kebab. Probably even second one, I think, but it's up to you. I, was, I don't think you're three. I think I've been even number one. You think you're number one? It's easy. Next day, you don't want too much fat, think fry, fry, fry. So I think uh, probably a plain chicken with nice fresh salad, uh, some tzatziki or something like that. You understand for the stomach? If you're on a health kick, maybe. I'm not on a diet, like, the next day, you're feeling rough. I'm not on Weight Watchers, yeah, I was like... Salad! <laughs> I think pizza's higher. So if you're going to make me run, I'm going to have to lie. Yeah, you two squat? Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. I think I should be higher up. Do you and Ozzy want to swap? Yeah, I think so. I think oh. So. Oh. Time's up. <laughs> Fifth place. Correct or incorrect? Oh, yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Fourth place. Correct or incorrect? Oh. Uh, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> There's a theme happening here. <laughs> Third place, correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Yes. Oh, okay. Every time. Oh, oh, please, one or two. So I should have gone higher. Three times green. So. Oh, no, there must be one more that's wrong yeah, then, isn't exactly. there? So. Second place, correct or incorrect? Sold the fish and chips. No. Mm -mm. First place, correct or incorrect? It's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So it should have been, um, so we should have swapped. Yeah. Told you. It should have gone like this, Indian. Fish and chips, kebab, pizza, Chinese. You guys got to believe in my gut. I'm telling you, the gut never fails. Which of your cuisines is the most ordered takeaway in the UK? From least to most ordered takeaway. I don't think it's going to be too dissimilar to what we've just done. I think I'm number one. Although Italian's not popular with takeaways, surely. There's, there's lots of lots of pizzas. Pizza shops, yeah. There's lots of kebabs and pizza together as well. <laughs> Twelve and a half thousand chip shops in the UK, but there's more Chinese than there are chip shops. It's got to be Chinese. Chinese. They've got Chinese in every street corner. But that fact, I didn't know that. That's a lot. That's, so that's, I... uh, that's eight times the amount of McDonald's. Well, there's a good <laughs> statistic in Glasgow, which is my salt and chilli chicken is the most ordered dish in the whole of Glasgow. Me! So, uh, yeah. that's, that must be number one, surely. OK, we've got two minutes. I think Jimmy, Chinese number one, Swati, Indian number two. Yeah. I think you're number three, and I think it's between you and me, but I think I'm four. We're going to listen to you, you God. My <laughs> guy is telling me this. We're listening to you, God. Okay, I, I would, this is the one time that I'm going to say let other cuisines take the back seat, and I'm happy to go a little bit further down, but I Whatever think... Whatever you say, we go with, I reckon. But I think... <laughs> just let's do that. Let's follow the gut. <laughs> I was pretty confident of that for once, listen to Paula. What do you think? Do you think this is the right order, Ozzy? That's not something you order to get. A delivery for? I didn't know Chinese was that much popular, to be fair. Yeah, I think you're going to order something that you're not going to necessarily make at home, and I think Chinese and Indian is definitely full yeah, of that. That's exactly. why I think I'm full. That's why I think... <gasps> oh, my God! Paolo has gone with her gut. You've now locked in your answers for the final round. In this round, the prize pot will be shared out between players who were stood in their correct position only. If you're stood in an incorrect position, you will go home with nothing. Oh. What? Ooh. But don't worry. If you feel like the group have placed you in the wrong position, you now have the chance to move. If you think you should be in a different ranked spot, you can move there even if somebody else already has that spot. It's got juicy. <laughs> if you want to move, now is your chance. I'm listening to my gut. I don't know to go here or here. Uh, Can I go one leg and one? <laughs> Just a question, you regular customers, they come once a week? Yes, yes. My regular customers come once every two days. Because it's cheaper, you it's can, quicker. You, you can move up, Ozzy, doesn't make no, any difference. No, no, I know. You can have fish and chips one time a week, you can have Indian one time every two weeks, three weeks. But kebabs is daily thing. Mm. We can go to the game to the same spot. So more than one person can be on the same spot. <laughs> go! Oh, oh God. Really? I'm very proud of my food and my kebab and my gastronomy. So I always think I'm going to be number one. I want to be number one. Because I think uh, British people, they just love kebabs. There can only be one. <laughs> can only be <laughs> one. So it goes without saying that fifth place, obviously, that one's there. Fourth place, is Paola going home with a share of the money, yes or no? Yeah. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a good one, yes. Third, is Sonny going home with a share of the money? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's 
In second place is Swati going home with a share of the money. Yes! <laughs> That's a good one. Which means that one of you is correct and one of you is incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Are kebabs the most ordered takeaway in the UK or is Chinese food the most ordered? The answer... At least I was at the right place. Chinese yeah. food. Yes. <laughs> Ozzy, I'm afraid you didn't take home a share of the money, but the four of you did, which is £225. <laughs> I think I'm going to remember this forever. Shall I open a Chinese takeaway next time? <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling fantastic. Can't believe you won that money. I think I might cheat myself to a Michelin star restaurant. Meal for one. <laughs> <laughs>